it's Zapdos TCG here and in this video I'll be showing you how I personally organize my cards. Okay, so this is the uh, famous backpack here that I take with me to all the tournaments. And believe it or not, this uh, actually holds all the cards I currently own. So you might think, wow, that is a small backpack, you don't have a lot of cards. Well, I'm just a competitive player, so I don't collect. So I uh, don't have these huge stacks of binders where I can just put all the cards from the collection in. No, I'm just a competitive player having my decks in here, my binder and uh, more. So first thing you'll see here, this is just the first zipper on the front here. We have a couple of things here. We have, first off, the damage counters. You always have to take damage counters uh, to tournaments. So uh, we have the GX counter, a regular. Uh, flipping a coin is also an awesome. So there's a few coins in here. Some uh, different colors for uh, heads or tails with the, the dice. And, and then also uh, yeah, poison and burn markers. So that is something I always take with you to the tournament. Then we also have a fresh pack of sleeves. You always want to have sleeves if you get booster packs so you can just put your rare cards immediately into sleeves. So uh, we have a bunch of sleeves here. So uh, the uh, sleeves I recommend is Dragon Shield. So Dragon Shield sleeves are the best. And you also have Ultra Pro and stuff, but I don't uh, often use those. Okay, and then uh, uh, to finish it off on the uh, front section here, we also have uh, my promotional cards that I give away also at tournaments. So that is what's in the front. And uh, what else is in this backpack? As I mentioned, uh, all the cards I currently own and all the stuff I use to play competitively is just in this package. So I'm just gonna get out the... Uh, yeah, this is the uh, playmat I use with. So the Zabdos TCG playmat. It is also in a protection tube, which you can also purchase at card shop. So that uh, way the uh, playmat doesn't get uh, yeah dirty and stuff. So that is really great. So that is my playmat I play with. What else is in this backpack? That is what you want to know, right? So, we also have two of these Elite Trainer boxes to hold cards. So that is something I do recommend. If you have tons of cards, just uh, grab some of these Elite Trainer boxes. They're ideal just to store a bunch of your cards. And then, of course, I have my binder. So, that is all here. So, this is a backpack. And that's the only thing... Uh, the only things that are in this backpack. That's the only thing you'll need to play competitively. So, we have sleeves. We have damage counters and stuff. We have a play mat. And uh, I'm just gonna end with the binder. I'm just gonna go with these boxes first. So the first box is just two deck boxes. Uh, this is just where I hold my deck. So as you can see, my main deck is in here, which is currently Lycanroc Zoroark. So which is stand in, of course. So we have the entire deck here, Sycamores and stuff. So this is the deck. And then I also have have decks. So that means that our decks that are not completed or I just swap around uh, thanks to uh, using cards from this deck because I don't want to purchase every card multiple times. I only want a full place out of four and then I just swap between decks. So these are just have decks. This is just a metal deck with yeah, uh, Silk Valley. So that is a have deck. What else is in here? Another deck box. So these is, are, are more have decks and they are divided by those, uh, yeah, what do you call them? Deck dividers that you can get in Elite Trainer boxes as well. So I'm just gonna get out all the cards here. So what half decks do I have at the moment? We have Boswell, yeah, Regirock. We also have with the deck divider, Galissapod line. So I just swap between all these decks time after time just to make uh, to play test. So another Zoroark is in here, another deck divider. Then we have Greninja build. So I can play with every deck I just want. I just have to swap between uh, cards just to get uh, yeah, a full deck of 60 cards. So this is a really easy, that's the way I recommend doing it. So uh, if you don't want to purchase a bazillion amount of cards, you can purchase a bunch of uh, staples or just print proxies. That is also something you can do just to have full decks ready to play with. But I just swap around. We also have the Sidewire here. So all these decks are ready to go. I just need to select a deck that I want to play at a tournament, swap the cards that I want and boom, I can play the deck. So that is uh, also something that is uh, just an elite trainer box. All these things fit in there. And then we also have this Elite Trainer box. And this is uh, something else here. There are also uh, some uh, pre-release boxes in here and also a deck box from an international tournament. These are just TCG Online code cards that I'm gonna give away in a raffle pretty soon. This is uh, another half deck here. I think, what uh, did I make last? I think it was Wishy Washy, yeah. We have, let's just get it open here. We have another half deck here with Wishy Washy hammers and uh, you know the drill here. Wishy Washy, you already seen that deck uh, with Team Flare Grunts and uh, also that Hoopa. So, 
still need to make that deck on TCG online so uh, you guys can check it out but it's a really fun deck it's a kind of a troll deck did really well at the Memphis regionals also have videos up on the channel of that deck made an episode as well so all half decks and then I just decided deck put cards uh, actually all the staples are in just this main deck and then just swap them around make the deck and go to a tournament so we also have these pre-release boxes I think they are really useful here in this pre-release box we have staples uh, staples meaning uh, I have a bunch of proxies made also a bunch of sleeves are in here and uh, then I can just uh, start making decks if I just want to start and test them immediately I have a bunch of proxies printed here so these are crazy just choice band field blower sycamore and tapu lelies and stuff so a lot of things are in here these are all just proxies I uh, always test first before I uh, try and purchase the car so that's a bunch of proxies with some uh, empty sleeves and then lastly in this uh, elite trainer box we have the uh, expanded kit here what I like to call here so it fits a ton of cards and these are just all cards that are really useful for expanded so if you don't know the expanded format we have things like Vespiquin in here let's just focus a little bit more on the camera we have the evolutions we have Trevenant of course Trevenant is huge still we have the Night March deck still doing a lot of stuff also trainers in here that can be useful here like Silent Labs and uh, VS Seekers and all the good stuff Acro Bikes uh, yeah Mega Turbos there's a lot of stuff in here so Trainers Mail also has a really great card uh, Muscle Bands and uh, yeah you know this card as well Blacksmith so a lot of things like Teammates Double Dragon Energies and yeah just Silent Labs VS Seekers as mentioned so this is my Expanded Kit if you want to go play Expanded just check in uh, a bunch of cards in this and just make your main deck together with some huge and uh, staple trainer cards from the expanded format so a bunch of stuff is laying here and that was all in that little backpack and now the best thing just gonna go over here is of course my binder so in this binder that's a huge binder I do recommend all the the ultra pro or monster binders they're really great uh, for uh, just stacking a bunch of cards so I've been having this binder like for uh, almost an entire year now so it, uh, they do uh, yeah, manage well to just last a long time so in this binder I just firstly uh, put all my ultra rares and uh, GX's that uh, have a little bit of value on the front so people can say like oh wow I'm a collector still looking for a bunch of cards uh, do you want to trade so these are all tradable stuff and uh, don't have any decks with them so uh, all my decks are there so these are all competitive cards I'm playing with right now so all these this is just a trade binder trading a bunch of stuff so First things I put on hyper rares, then full arts, then uh, secret rares and full art trainers, and then of course just regular GXs. I sort them by type. So as you see, we have uh, fighting, then grass, then normal, then fire, then water, then lightning, then psychic, followed by uh, dragon and metal. So also the breaks is something I put uh, on the front of the pages just to uh, have the people saying like oh wow I'm looking for a card like that so the most expensive cards are at the front of the binder also leak promos are sometimes uh, uh, something that people are looking for so I put them on the front of the binder and then shining cards the shining Celebi will be noteworthy here I don't have a deck with it right now but uh, sometimes in this trade binder there might be stuff that I don't trade but most of these are are just tradable stuff that I go to at a tournament or a leak and then they can just trade trade then uh, we have all the cards I think might have competitive value or have competitive value that I don't have at that at the moment or I have uh, multiples of the doubles and then uh, I just order them by type in this particular case we start with grass we have the list of the regular one Laurentis the promo one there's a, a spare uh, Dartrix in here I know I have the decidueye build build right there so uh, we also have uh, yeah shaman could be useful so all things are cards that I think like they might uh, potentially become better in the future or uh, are great that I don't have decks with so first things I order them all by type and evolution so we have grass types so this Kakuna could be fun here has, has the same attack like the uh, water duplicates of Frogadier then we have the Venusaur line executed in here because Exeggutor might become better if Double Dragon gets a little reprint uh, we also have uh, things like Salazzle, Victini, Heatmore of course because there was a Heatmore Raichu deck once Reshiram could be fun. I actually think it's kind of fun. It has 130 HP. Most things like Galissapod and Zoroark and with 120 damage, so yeah, might be fun. So things that I do see potential in. Also, Ambor GX. It's not Ambor GX. It's uh, the evolution here. We have Litten, Torcat, and then it evolves straight to Incineroar. Incineroar GX uh, is also something that might see play later down the line. 
We also have things like uh, Alolan Sand Sledge, Reg Eyes. So just a, a bunch of cards that I find interesting, I put in the binder and order them by type. So a bunch of Raichus, this is also a neat card, it's Striker. And as mentioned, this is just all the standard format. Uh, the expanded format, all the playable cards are just right there, as mentioned. So this is just standard binder. We also have a bunch of these lightning types, Raikos, Vikavolt, everything you might want just to make decks with. If I make decks and I want to make a new deck, I always look through the types here and say, hmm, what tech card can I include? Definitely in the psychic type because there are a lot of psychic uh, type tech cards. We have Latios, we have Orochorio or here. We also have uh, things like the uh, Mismagius, Chimeco, uh, more Garbodors. Uh, Garbodor, of course was huge at the time of release, but uh, now it has been seen a decline in play, so Gore Guys made a fun deck with that. Then we head over to some fighting types. So as you see, that's how I organize my uh, entire, yeah, all the cards that I have uh, just in this binder, and then all these deck boxes in uh, just a little backpack. So it doesn't weigh that lot, uh, weigh a lot, so you can just uh, take to it, uh, take it to a tournament, you don't have a, yeah, a Sora uh, back here, because the backpack is just not that heavy. So, uh, darkness types, metal types, there are dragon types, and then fairy types. Ended with normal types, so all cards that I find uh, value in. And then we have, we are making our way to the items, or actually trainer cards. First things I'm uh, putting is item cards, sometimes there's an empty slot, that means it, it's in uh, one of these decks recently, so what else? So item cards, bunch of item cards, then we are uh, making our way. So every single standard item card that uh, is kind of neat is in here. I'm not putting in things like Pokeball or Potion because those won't see any play at all. So uh, after the items, we have the tool cards. You can make a selection of tool cards like, hmm, actually I think Choice Band is in the wrong slot here. So I'm just going to put Choice Band here. I recently just put it in there. So whoop. it has to stick together with the tool cards. Oof, there we go. And uh, then we are making our way to the supporter. So a bunch of supporters in here. That way it's easy to make deck clips. Like say, hmm, I'm looking for a supporter to put extra in my deck. There's just really uh, obvious choice here. They're organized like that. Then stadium cards, same thing. All stadium cards in here. And uh, just note that uh, every single section has multiple copies of. Let's say, oh, Voltorb. I want a bunch of Voltorbs. There's a bunch of Voltorbs in here, as you can see. So, uh... Most of the time there's just a full playset of four in here with the trainer cards is a little bit different because sometimes they're in their decks right there. So we were at the stadium cards and then we ended off with special energy. So a bunch of counter energy, rainbow energy, uh, then burning energy, the uh, splash energies are in Greninja of course. And uh, then we ended with holographic energies and uh, these are just in here for the sake of it. These are just Japanese cards that sometimes people might want to have. I just put them last because they are not that interesting So I don't put them in the front of the cover or actually in the binder. So these are just holographic energies We have a bunch of them lightning power. Yay! So I'm just waiting for the best lightning deck uh, that uh, will come out pretty soon Maybe and then I just make uh, a deck with uh, the thing I love uh, is playing with holographic energy So that's why there's a bunch of them. These are just empty spots because fighting uh, holographic energies are in the buzzwell deck and then uh, the, we have the darkness uh, deck, uh, darkness and you don't have a lot of these. And then of course the giant cards I put in here. I don't have a lot of giant cards. Usually I give them away to uh, people at the league, so I still need to do that. And that's pretty much it. So this is the entire uh, way I organize my cards. So as you see, it's kind of a mess, but if you just put everything in a correct uh, box here or in the back, it looks pretty fine. So that's it, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks again for tuning in on my channel. Let me know what uh, you think about this video, if I should make more videos about uh, yeah, these uh, kind of situations in general, how I store my cards, what else I do with my cards, what are the best sleeves. All these kind of video ideas you can just put in the comment section below and let me know uh, how uh, you organize your cards. I'd like to know, maybe uh, make a video of your own, just let me know that you made a video about how you organize your cards. And I will see you guys soon enough with more Pokemon TCG videos. Have a nice day guys and I'm out. Peace.